What's up, people? It's your boy, Melo Mars. I wasn't going to do a video today, but then I thought about it. Let me go ahead and do this thing. And for my Cowboy fans out there that may not have heard about the Dallas Cowboy cornerback, second-year cornerback, Marquez White, who uh, is in a little bit of trouble. He's facing the uh, second-degree felony for uh, pulling out his gun in, a, in a, uh, basically a road rage incident here in Dallas. Now, this happened, I believe, in October, but it's just not coming to the light. Well, the charges are starting to come to the light. And, uh, and a lot of fans out there, a lot of media out there saying, oh, who is Marquez White? He ain't nobody. You know, forget him. We could do good without him. He's not going to make the team. Well, let me tell you why it is important. Marquez White is a bigger quarterback. He came from Florida State. It's his second year in the league, as I mentioned. But... Chris Richard, who is the new secondary coach for the Dallas Cowboys, he liked bigger uh, cornerbacks. If you know Richard Sherman, 6'4", uh, Brandon Browner, he's about 6'3", 6'4", 6'5", maybe. Uh, I mean, over there, crazy. I don't know what's wrong with him. But anyway, uh, <laughs> I mean, over there, crazy. But uh, but yeah. So he's a big cornerback, and he's exactly what Chris Richard normally like to play. And uh, so I think he had a great chance to compete for playing time, especially behind Anthony Brown and even Jordan Lewis. Jordan Lewis is a, a great competitor. But Jordan Lewis is real small. I love Jordan Lewis. He's a he plays the ball phenomenally well, but he got to come to play. And the best, the biggest thing about it, guys, we need much competition is crazy. I mean, we need much. Uh, excuse me, we need much competition as possible. I'm still thinking about that man being crazy uh, <laughs> on the defensive in the defensive backfield. We need much competition. All these guys are young guys still. Even Byron Jones. All these guys are still unproven. Well, if somebody just step up stand out amongst all everybody else so nobody has a job that's guaranteed so i think marquez white being on being at training camp is a, a vital thing but um here in dallas they, they had his lawyer on the on, uh, 1053 the fan uh i think on yesterday so it's a pretty good chance that this can get thrown out just based on what his lawyer is saying but at the end of the day the case can get thrown out but roger Cadell could do whatever he want to do Unfortunately, we, we've seen that too many times. But, uh, so yeah, I just wanted to give an update for those of you out there that are saying it's not a big deal. Hopefully it's not a huge deal, but Marquez White is somebody I've been looking at since last year. Happy that he was hidden on the uh, practice squad because I think he got some skills to, you know, to at least give some bigger receivers some trouble. So, uh so keep 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 your ears out for this this case. All my all my uh, Cowboys fans out there, uh, if you know any other details about it, if you want to ask me any other questions, I didn't get into everything I know about it uh, during this video. So if you want any other details about it, hit me in the comment section. I'm excited, guys. We we what we almost what two or three weeks away. I don't know. I'm I'm, I'm I think I saw something that said 17 days away from training camp. So guys, we're getting we're getting closer and closer. So I'm excited, all the Cowboys fans. Let's get excited about to be a phenomenal year. Hopefully, includes Marquez White. <laughs> and as always, let's grow. Peace.